Hello everyone, we will continue the topic joints and in the previous video, we understood the concept of inner joint and outer joint. Now what I will do, I will just go to order header table, order item table. I will take the data of these two toy tables. We will understand how inner join and outer join will work. We should go for inner join. We should go for outer join. In which requirement we should take inner join. In which requirement we should take outer join. We will discuss all these things. And in the next video, we will go for the practical part for the same. Suppose. I will go to order header table. Suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code. This is our order header table. Suppose I will download everything. Currently seven records are there. I will download this data. I will click on to this button. Okay. I will download export to. I will download in Excel format and then we will understand fully. So this is our data of order header table. Now I will go download the data of order item table also. I will go to the contents. And I will download the data of order item table also. Now in the same Excel, I will copy the data of order item table also so that it will be easy for us to understand. I will delete MA and DT column. Anyways, it is client number only. So this is our header table and this is our item table. Now, suppose I am going firstly go for inner joint how inner join will work. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 5 to the program. How inner join will work? The definition is inner join will return the matching records between the tables. So we gave order header table, we gave order item table. Is order number 1 to 5. I gave input order number 1 to 5. 1 to 5 order header table. 1 to 5 order item table. What is common between both of them? Order number. So I will get the matching records in the output. So how, how the output will be? I will get all the matching records I will get the order number 1 to 5 in the output as it is in the header table also. It is in the item table also. Now, next. I am giving input 1 to 7. Now, 1 to 7, I gave the input. But 1 to 5 is in both the tables. But 6 and 7 is only only in the header table. It is not in the item table based upon our current scenario. So in the output, I will only only get the matching records between both the tables. So if I will put 1 to 7 and we have inner join, Still, we will only get the order number 1 to 5 in the output as 6 and 7 is not in the item table. 
because inner join always always return the matching records between the tables now now we will go for left outer join we will only only cover left outer join as of now once we go for new syntaxes then we will go for right outer join also what is left outer join suppose in our current scenario rather than inner join we are going for left outer join i am giving 1 to 5 so this table suppose i am giving on the left hand side this table i am putting on the right hand side header table left hand side item table right hand side so it will take all the records all the records of the table which is on the left hand side we gave input 1 to 5 yes 1 to 5 it will take from the table which is on the left hand side then it will combine with the table which is on the right hand side so it will take 1 to 5 done now now we will come on to suppose i am giving the input 1 to 7 1 to 7 now in case of 1 to 7 what will happen firstly it will take all the records which is on the left hand side we give 1 to 7 yes it will take 1 to 7 then it will go to the table which is on the right hand side so 1 2 3 4 5 i am matching with 1 2 3 4 5 5. but 6 and 7 is not in the item table so it does not mean that it will not come in the output it will come in the output that's why we told yes outer join works for matching record as well as unmatching records also 1 to 5 are matching between both the tables so they are coming 6 and 7 is also coming 6 and 7 is not matching with the item table but it will come because i told the definition it will take every record from the table of left hand side then it will combine with the table which is on the right hand side so we gave 1 to 7 so it will take full 1 to 7 because it has to take all the records which is on the which it has to take all the records of the table which is on the left hand side then it will combine with the table which is on the right hand side just see in case of inner join if we give 1 to 7 still we will get 1 to 5 only because item table has 1 to 5 because inner join works on matching record left outer join outer join works on matching plus non matching and under that we are covering left outer join so left outer join will take 1 to 7 1 to 7 now the question comes based upon the requirement yes many people ask we should go for inner join or we should go for left outer join just see it is totally totally requirement you should understand the requirement if requirement is clear you will understand fully because definition is what matching matching plus unmatching just understand the requirement now suppose customer is saying it is compulsory that whatever the order is in the header table it is compulsory in the item table just understand it means if we have order number 1 to 7 in header table it is compulsory in the item table then you can go for inner join no problem at all yes because you are getting the matching record and there is no data loss at all yes because customer told header whatever the header order numbers are there 
compulsory items will be there for that order number. Go for inner join. Now, what customer is saying? It is not compulsory that whatever the order numbers I put in header table, it is not compulsory that it is in the item table. Yes, but I want the matching order number between both the tables. Just understand the second step of the requirement. First requirement customer told it is compulsory whenever we will insert a order number to header table, it is compulsory we will put in item table. Done. No problem. We will always go for inner join. We will get the matching records. Now second scenario. Customer is saying, okay, it is not compulsory that I will put a order number in header table. It is compulsory I will put in header table, but it is not compulsory I will put in item table. But I want a result of matching order numbers between both the tables. Now again, inner join because customer is asking for matching records only, matching order numbers only. Then you should go for inner join only. Third part of the requirement. Customer is saying it is not compulsory. It is mandatory. Order number is in the header table. But it is not compulsory that order number is in the item table. But I want all the order numbers which is in the header table. But if item is not there, leave them blank. In that case, compulsory you should go for left outer join. Or I will say outer join. As of now, we are discussing left outer join. So yes, you should compulsory go for left outer join. Otherwise, customer will say it's a data loss. I have six to seven in the header table. I know item data is not there. Bye bye. But why it is not coming in the output? So understand the requirement. Once you understand the requirement, writing the join is very easy. You should go for inner join or you should go for left outer join in the current scenario. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we downloaded the data of header table, item table. We understood how inner join will work in our scenario, how left outer join will work in our scenario. Then we understood that we should go for outer join or we should go for inner join. We discussed the various requirements. If customer is saying it is mandatory, header and item order numbers will be in sync inner join if customer is saying header has the order number item table order numbers is not compulsory at all but i want matching inner join suppose if customer is saying header has the order number item do not have the order number but i want everything if items are not there okay leave them blank but it should come in the output you should go for left outer join. Now in the next video, what we will do? Firstly, we will write the logic for inner join. I will show you the output. Then I will go for left outer join and I will show you the output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.